this is Stampy, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series I'm going to be doing, which is called the Stampy Flat Challenge. And uh, I'm sure uh, you're wondering what the uh, the Stampy Flat Challenge is. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to explain. So I'm going to be starting up a brand new survival world. The twist is it's going to be a super flat world, but not a uh, not a normal super flat world. So I don't know if you know, a lot of people don't know, as you can actually uh, customize the uh, the super flat worlds and uh, kind of have them exactly uh, as you want. You can kind of add in uh, new blocks and kind of change what you want them to be and uh, how many uh, layers there there's going to be of them. And so I've designed my own world. And so, no surprise, the uh, the top row is going to be orange wall. But then uh, we go down here, and there's all of these uh, different blocks we have all the way down uh, to the very bottom, where there is uh, going to be uh, bedro uh, bedrock. Uh, bedrock is always at the the bottom, no no matter what. Uh, so yeah, these are all of these layers, and I've come up with this design uh, to be a tricky way to play the game. And uh, there's a few challenges I'm going to have to do uh, while playing in this super flat world. And I'm going to talk about uh, what the challenges are in a, a second. But let me just go and show you the the other settings. So I've set it. Uh, as a, as a plains biome and uh, that means that I should get some villagers and I've also uh, gonna gonna have a abandoned mine shafts and strongholds and I won't have any ocean monuments but I've got that ticked anyway uh, I'm also gonna have dungeons uh, decorations it uh, kind of gives you like tall grass and flowers and sugarcane and stuff, uh, which will be very handy. Uh, that's why the the second layer uh, is actually um, uh, dirt, uh, because I'm also going to have these lakes, and then the the lakes uh, make it so obviously there's a bit of water, uh, but it also allows to show a little bit of the the second layer. And actually, this should not be dirt. This should be uh, grass block. So let's go and change that to a, a grass block, uh, because then that way uh, I'll also be able to get some animals spawning, uh, because otherwise uh, I wouldn't have uh, any grass. So this is. The the, uh, this is kind of how the uh, the game's going to be set up. Uh, so let's go and back out of here. Uh, I also have um, fire spread turned off uh, because there are going to be lakes of lava and most of the world is made out of wool. And yeah, for obvious reasons, that's not a very good mix. I'm also going to have a bonus chest and that bonus chest uh, might come in very important. So we're going to have to see about that and uh, everything else seems to be fine. It's not an online game. Weather cycles on all of that uh, seems jolly good. So then uh, I need to be in survival. Uh, shall I put it to hard? Do you think that'd be too hard? Let's go for normal. I don't think I've ever played Minecraft in normal. It's either easy or hard. So let's go and play in normal. <laughs> if you do decide to do uh, this challenge or a similar challenge yourself, uh, you can do it in whatever se uh, setting you want. But apart from that, uh, let's go and load up this world. So of course, uh, this is going to be a brand new world. And the most important thing when I start off is the bonus chest. Because the bonus chest might be a way uh, to get items I could not get otherwise. And what I really want uh, is to get a, a sapling. Because if I don't get a sapling in my bonus chest, uh, then I'm pretty sure there's going to be no way that I'm going to be able to, to grow trees at all. Which means I'm going to have a, a very limited amount of wood at the, the beginning. And of course, wood's important. And there we go, look, loads of saplings. I've got uh, uh, loads of oak and dark oak saplings. So that is uh, very, very lucky. I also got a bit of food, which is going to be very handy uh, at first. And I think... Um, Let's, let's start off trying to... I, I need to start these trees growing. So let's go and uh, see if I can try and uh, gather up a little bit of uh, this dirt here. Well, actually, the entire second level uh, is uh, is dirt, isn't it? So let's go and uh, try and break this away. I don't want to destroy the uh, the grass because that grass is going to be important. Because uh, actually, let's go and break away some of this stuff. Actually, I could grow some wheat with this. Uh, if I get enough tall grass to get some seeds, uh, then I'll be able uh, to grow some wheat. It's also uh, quite nice having all of the, uh, the glowstone uh, as well. Uh, just because it lights up the area a little bit. So there's going to be these lava lakes uh, and uh, and the water lakes as well. So I've not seen any lava lakes, but they are going to be uh, important to, to find, uh, mainly uh, because... Um uh, there's normally stone around them and at the moment uh, there's going to be no way for me to get stone uh, and the stone layer is quite low down so as I said I did design uh, the layers myself but I can't exactly remember uh, where each layer is so it is going to be a, a bit of a, a surprise when I'm digging down and I do want to be careful so actually what I might do is I might rather than trying to, to start growing trees here and uh, setting up a, a camp here I might go and wander I might go and explore the land for a bit because uh, what I really want to do is I want to find a, a lava lake and luckily uh, I got myself a, uh, a wooden pickaxe here uh, so I can get some of the, the so actually is the one right here aha I can see some stone I think this has to be uh, a lava lake so what have we got oh, we've got some gravel as well uh, yeah because sometimes uh, around these lakes uh, you can get different ores as well and oh look 
and there's a village right there. There we go. This is absolutely perfect. I was very lucky here. And I've not done this challenge before, but if I didn't get some of the uh, uh, the stuff I got in that bonus chest, uh, this entire thing would be much harder. So uh, I was uh, very lucky here, but it could work. Even if you don't uh, get any... Um, uh, saplings. Uh, you can get wood. Of course, there's a there's a layer for every different type of wood. It is quite low down though, and uh, spending that long without wood would be tough. Uh, but you can also uh, just steal it from the the villagers as well. It uh, just means you're going to have a little bit more of a limited supply. And uh, you also can't get apples from them because food might be a little bit of a, tro a problem. Actually, no, it won't. Food won't be a problem because I have the village, ah, and that's going to be handy. And hopefully, I'll be able to find some uh, some sugar cane at some point as well, uh, because of course I need uh, to make some cakes. So let's go and make my way to the village. And oh, there's another lava lake here. Are there any ores around here? No. Sometimes you can get a bit of coal and a bit of iron, uh, which can be very handy. But let's go and uh, uh, go to the village, and uh, let's see if we've got anything good in the the blacksmith, or even if there there is a blacksmith, because that uh, would be very handy. And I guess I should probably uh, tell you what my challenges are. I realize that I have haven't told you yet. So there's three challenges. There's three challenges uh, that I need to do in this uh, world, and I have no idea uh, whether it's going to be easy, difficult, or even possible. So <laughs> we're going to find that out as uh, as we go. Uh, so yeah, challenge number one is uh, kind of pretty obvious. I need to go and I need to try and reach the very bottom of this world. And so I'm not entirely sure how tall the world is. I think it's around about 60 blocks. It's pretty similar uh, to where like sea level would be anyway. Uh, but of course, rather than just digging, hello guys. Uh, rather than just digging down through stone I'm of course going to be uh, digging down through everything that's going to be there and there's like lots of lava down there and uh, uh, water and uh, silver fish stone as well so uh, yeah that's not going to be as easy as it might sound but the good thing is is uh, one of the the very bottom layers uh, are diamonds and uh, diamonds are probably going to be very important for the the other two challenges and you might guess what they are two other challenges left two things I need to defeat I need to go and try and defeat the ender dragon and the wither so that's, that's what my challenge is. So uh, not only do I need to reach the bottom of the world, I also need to try and defeat uh, the, the two most dangerous bosses uh, that there are in the, uh, the game. But hopefully, if I do reach the bottom layer... Uh, then that means I'm going to be able to get like a full set of diamond uh, armor uh, pretty easily. And I think with that, the bosses won't be too hard. The only other challenge will be, of course, to find the, the stronghold and, of course, to, to be able to, to spawn in the, the wither boss. Because, of course, I can go to the, the end. And uh, if you're in a super flat world, the end still is just like a normal end. Like it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look completely flat. Uh, but the the never is the never is basically just like the uh, the overworld and it's uh, completely flat uh, and uh, so that's going to be that's going to be interesting but it'd be good to go to the never uh, to get the uh, the blaze powder in order to make the the eye of enders because uh, yeah I'm not going to have uh, any other real way in order to to be able uh, to to get the the eye of enders so let's go and uh, and uh, place all of this back down here and um, and right then let's go and have a look around oh, I can see some sugar cane over there I should probably have something to eat I don't know whether to um. I don't know whether to set base here or whether to, to keep wandering a little bit more because I was hoping to find a blacksmith here. Uh, but let me just go and have another little quick check. But I couldn't, uh, well, I didn't notice a blacksmith anywhere. There's uh, some fur, there's a crafting table here. I guess I, I might as well uh, take that. And I might go and gather just some wood uh, from here as well, uh, just so I have that before I go and uh, start growing trees. But it does not uh, seem like there's a, a blacksmith, which is a little bit rubbish, I will be honest. I was <laughs> hoping there would uh, there would be one here but nope uh, sadly nothing and I might steal some of these torches as well because uh, the coal uh, layer I remember uh, is very low down so uh, there is a glowstone layer so I can ca I can gather up some glowstone uh, but torches are generally just a little bit easier to, to work with uh, rather than the um Oh yeah, rather than the uh, uh, the glowstone. So tell you what, let's go. Let's go make myself. Do I have an axe? Oh, there we go. I got an axe anyway. So I might as well. Jesse, let's make, let's make a stone one. I got um uh, plenty of stone now. So uh, do I have any um? Oh, I don't know. I need I need a little bit of wood just to, to do a bit of crafting. So let's just steal a little bit of uh, wood here. I'm sure the uh, the friendly villagers will not mind. I mean, <laughs> they must have a pretty boring life anyway, seeing as they're kind of standing here in this big empty void. So let's go. Let's go make a, a few tools. Let's go make a pickaxe. Uh, I guess I should make a shovel as well because uh, some of the the layers I'm gonna have to dig through and uh, a stone sword as well because uh, mobs are on. Uh, once it becomes the night time, uh, even though we're in this big open area, uh, yeah, the the googlies are going to to start coming after me. And uh, yeah, I'm going going to have to, to be ready to, to deal with that. And oh, sorry, I didn't know there was someone in here. Um, Don't mind me, I'm just borrowing your house. <laughs> I'll be on my way soon. It's only just to, to have a, a little bit now uh, before I go and uh, set off on my adventure. So I just want to go and explore. 
and uh, hopefully just find a, a another village and uh, hopefully that one will have a, a blacksmith because the big thing that I didn't get from my bonus chest and of course didn't get from this village uh, is uh, any iron. Because iron's one of the, the most difficult things because it's so useful for making, of course, a bunch of weapons and things, uh, but it's quite low down. I remember that it's uh, on quite a, a low level, and so if I had to wait until I've kind of dug all the way down there, uh, that might be quite difficult. But this is great because I'm getting loads of food here. That's kind of the, the best thing about finding this village is like... Not even the fact loads of food, like loads of different food. I can, I can get a bit of variety, have some potatoes, have some carrots, you know, <laughs> shake things up a little bit. So that that's kind of good. I thought that for a while I was going to be eating, well, I didn't know what I was going to be eating. I guess apples would have probably been the only thing I could have uh, eaten otherwise uh, from the, the tree. So I'm glad that I got this uh, nice variety of food. And there are some layers of food. I know there's some pumpkins uh, down there. Actually, I think the pumpkins are quite uh, close to the surface. So there are them, uh, so that that's pretty handy. And uh, also, there's also a melon layer, I think, uh, at some point down there. So uh, that's going to be uh, uh, another layer to, to get to in case I'm getting peckish. And look, a chicken! I found a chicken as well. So as you can see, because there's these uh, little patches uh, of, uh, of grass here, uh, animals are going to spawn. So I could kill it to get some food, but you know what? I might as well go vegetarian for this because <laughs> I really don't need it. And tell you what, let's get the, let's get the, the map out and let's make it and uh, let's try and start start filling it in. So I was kind of in, uh, going to the edge of the world in that direction, but I don't really want to do that. I kind of just want to, to spread out. Uh, so let's go back this way a little bit. Uh, just so I can mark that village uh, on my map, just so I kind of filled it in. Uh, so then, uh, that way I'll know where I've started to. So if I uh, get nostalgic and want to, to head back here, uh, then I can do. But what would be good is to... Oh, there's a bit of sand down here. Should I get this sand? Sand? Will I need sand for anything? I guess I guess if I eventually build a house, then it'd be nice to have windows. I, I think that's where, where sand will be, uh, will be useful for me now. So the plan is like, I'm not... Like, this isn't going to be much of like a building let's play. Like, I feel like... You know, across like Cave Den and Quest and of course Lovely World, uh, I do a lot of building. And so I feel like I don't really need to do uh, another series where I'm building like a lot of things. But I'm going to have a base. You know, I'm going to have a place to, to head back to uh, after uh, after my adventures. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to build something, you know, just to, just, to, just to stay in. Because at the moment it's... um. It's feeling a little bit empty here at the the moment. It's uh, <laughs> there's not there's not much to look at. I just gonna want something on the the horizon uh, to look at. I might make like a, a tower. Uh, just like one tall tower in like the middle of this empty void, I think would be quite cool. So I'm just going to kind of wander around uh, trying to fill in, in uh, fill in the map. And also, if ever I see any of these lava pools. Uh, I'm going to go and head to, to them as well, uh, because these are my chances of getting some ores. And what have we got here? No, no ores, I don't think. I really want iron. Like, I could have a little dig around here. Is there any iron underneath any of these blocks? That would be very handy, but sadly there isn't. But getting the stone is uh, handy as well, because uh, I, I don't think there's uh, uh, any stone until I've gone down quite a bit further uh, either. Uh, so yeah, getting all of this stone here is going to be very handy. Any ores around here? There's a bit more gravel. Um... I mean, I, I will need gravel at some point uh, to make flint and steel uh, for when I go to the nether. Well, actually, it's getting quite it's getting quite dark here. Let's go put down my crafting table, and luckily, I can easily make a, a bed. And so the second it's uh, become nighttime, I can uh, I can sleep and uh, carry on again in the, the morning. So let's get the, the map out, and uh, let's see where shall I head in. Like, it'd be good maybe to, like, try and fill in. Uh, the the entire world you know just so i can see everything that there is and also i want to try and get to the um uh, to the edges of the the world because at the edges of the, of the world you can kind of like look down through the the world and like see everything like th does that make sense like you can kind of you can look through and see like all of the the layers it looks like a layer cake or something <laughs> and it looks really cool so i want to do that uh, just so i can look at it because i've not i've not seen it yet with uh, with this and i'm doing this wrong aren't i i need to put uh, some of these up here so this is just to uh, to make a little bit of coal uh, so oh, no, not coal sorry uh, charcoal uh, so I can cook some things because as I mentioned uh, I'm not going to, to get any proper coal until quite later later on and all oh, is there anything I need from the uh, the mobs is there anything that would help me out um I don't know, with some straw, I guess making a bow would be quite useful. So let's go, let's go take out this, uh, this spider and, uh, grab a little bit of string. There we go. I need one more piece to, to make a bow. And, uh, once this, uh, this skeleton's burnt, uh, I can go and hopefully get some arrows. Oh, I got a bone. Oh, I could get a dog. Actually, no, I can't get a dog. I, I, I think dogs only spawn in forest biomes. So I did spend uh, a little bit of a, a while. 
uh, trying to decide what biome to be in. Because at first I was going to do a forest biome only because it would allow me to, to get dogs. And I really like the, the idea of getting dogs. Uh, but it means that I wouldn't get any villagers uh, is the, the problem. So if you do decide to do this challenge uh, or a, a similar challenge, like I recommend not doing it the same as me. Like I recommend just changing it up a little bit, just doing it slightly different. So like I showed you uh, my kind of layout of layers uh, just to just to kind of show you what I would be dealing with uh, in this series here. Uh, yeah, but don't don't do the same. Uh, if you did want to do the, 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 the challenge yourself, uh, shake things up a little bit, change around the layers, kind of come up with it uh, for yourself. Or I think an even more fun way of doing it is to like do it for your friend. So like set up a world for, uh, for them, choose all of the, the layers and then like send it to them or like, you know, just set it up for them. Uh, so then they go and play. But then that way they won't know what any of the, the layers are. So give them the same challenges, you know, make sure that you can get to the never and can get to the end. You know, make sure that they can do everything that they need to do. Uh, but make it so they have no idea uh, what they're, they're going to, to be facing. And that way I think it's going to be exciting. Like just digging down and having no idea what you're going to find, I think would be a lot of fun. So I obviously set this up for myself, so I, I kind of I, I kind of know everything that there is, basically. Uh, I basically know everything that there isn't, but, you know, I'm not going to remember. Like, I'm not going to remember when I'm digging down exactly what's where. So uh, there is going to be a little element of a surprise, but it's more, um, yeah, it's more just going to be about seeing, you know, how well can I do uh, in this very weird way to play the game. Like, this isn't this isn't how the game was ever intended to be played. It's such a, a weird thing to do. But I found some coal here. I might as well make the, the most of this and try and grab there so let's go and um let's go and try and put some uh, some dirt down here and uh, fill it in underneath so this isn't iron obviously it's coal but <laughs> it's not it's not like amazing like it's not uh, what i what i really wanted uh, but it's definitely better than nothing and uh, i'm probably not going to see any coal until like <laughs> much later in the this series so i might as well uh, make the uh, the most of it and uh, try and grab that but yeah i also found this village i found uh, another village on the the horizon and hopefully this one's going to have a, a blacksmith it doesn't look like the biggest village in the world please don't tell me i'm not going to get a bunch of of villagers that don't have blacksmiths actually is that a blacksmith there I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think there's another blacksmith. I really want iron. I, I don't want to go through. Oh, no, here we go. There is a blacksmith. Please have iron. Please have iron. Please have iron. And yes, five pieces of iron. Oh, this is amazing. Right, okay. This is this is going to be like my home for now. I don't want to live in one of these houses. Well, I, I guess I will for now, just for like the, uh, the very near future. Let's make one of these my home. As I said, I don't want to build just something of my own to, to live in, but I guess I can wait until I've dug down because the good thing is, is I'm going to get loads of materials that I wouldn't ever normally get before. You know, like there's going to be, you know, a whole layer of, I don't know, like never quartz or a whole level of prismarine shards, you know, things that like I can't normally ever build out of. There's going to be loads of it, but then other things that, you know, normally I could get very easily uh, is going to be much more difficult. So let's go into empty out uh, my pockets a bit here. Actually, let's go and uh, throw down the, the crafting table and furnace in here. Uh, so yeah, this is this is going to be uh, just my little uh, my little temporary home. I guess I've already got a crafting table, so I can just go and put that one down there. Uh, I might as well, I'm going to save my coal, I think, just because <laughs> it seems like such a rare thing. I'm going to save that uh, in case I really need it. Uh, but I can go and put some of my charcoal in here. And uh, I got my potatoes. I'm going to go and start them cooking. I think they're probably uh, going to be my my best form of, uh, of food for now. And it looks like it looks like I have a few roommates uh, as well. I'm going to be <laughs> sharing this uh, this home with. Uh, but now I can go and I can grab the iron. So I got five pieces. I also got some iron horse armor. And I guess I could I could find a horse. I guess horses horses could spawn here, so if I do get a horse, I will certainly be putting the armor on it. I was hoping to get some stampy style boots, but it looks like I got some iron leggings, and that will be uh, definitely better than nothing. So, what should I make? I think I should make an iron pickaxe. I think that's the... I'm going to put... Uh, so, I don't know if I should make an iron sword. I think an iron sword and an iron pickaxe is probably going to be the best use uh, for the the iron that I that I have. I think the iron pickaxe definitely because there's going to be some ores I'm going to find on the way. And I think that uh, having the, the iron pickaxe, you know, like being able to gather up gold and redstone and just, I don't know, just any other ore, I think having this pickaxe is going to be the uh, the way to go. I also uh, want to set up a little bit of a, a tree farm, so I might as well just go and, oh, is this the edge of the world here, actually? Let's go look at them at how, I didn't really see where I was headed. Oh, yeah, look, this is the edge of the world. Let, let me go and show you uh, what the uh, the world uh, looks like from uh, here. If I go in third person, there we go, look, you can see it. Look at that, how cool does that look? It's kind of hard to see properly from here. Like, this is an invisible wall here. Like, 
as I run and jump, I can't go any way uh, further this way. But doesn't that look cool? There's a, a little glimpse of uh, of things to come. Oh no, look, I can see some lava all the way down at the uh, the bottom there. And this is actually probably a good way to see if there's any strongholds. There doesn't seem to be any uh, right by the the edge here, uh, but there should be three strongholds in this world. Uh, so that means that, uh, yeah, coming across them shouldn't be too difficult. And of course, I can get some uh, some Eye of Enders. And uh, so I can uh, I can use them in order to to be able to um uh, yeah to be able to to find some uh like using the uh, the normal method I guess so let's go and put these down here and uh, I've got some of these uh these dark oak saplings uh, so let's go and set some of these growing and that's gonna solve my uh, uh my needing uh, to to grow trees problem uh, but what I also want to do is um, oh making shears would be nice just for being able to dig out some of this ground because what I want to do now is I want to kind of dig out uh, around this grass a little bit uh, because that uh, what that will mean is that the the grass is going to kind of spread uh, all over the the area here and uh, that is going to uh, to make more animals spawn around the the area here which is going to be handy uh, because i'll be able to get like um uh, i guess leather is going to be the best thing to get because if i get leather then i could start making leather armor because until i get to uh, to one of the the other layers uh, where the the ore is going to be i'm not going to be able to get anything to to make armor out of and uh, it could get dangerous because as i said mobs are on and so i do want to, to make sure that i stay as uh, as protected uh, as i can so uh, let's go and uh, dig out all of this area here and then i'm also going to go and start growing some more sugar cane i can see some more in the, the distance and that's just because i want cakes because <laughs> let's think about it so i should all know I need iron buckets and cows, don't I? So I don't think I'm going to get uh, any uh, any cakes until I get down to the iron level. Because it's probably a little bit of a waste to try and use uh, some of the, the iron I have uh, already. <laughs> just to try and make myself some cakes. But I want... Come on. I can't do a Minecraft series without eating cakes. I'm Stumpy Cat. Come on. <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, anyway, uh, that's the that's the end of this episode here. I think I made some decent progress. I explored the, the land a bit. And I, I think I got quite lucky. Uh, with my bonus chest and uh, finding some of these uh, these villages. So I think in the next episode, uh, rather than uh, exploring on the, the surface anymore, I think I'm going to start digging down and uh, seeing uh, what I'm going to be able to, to find uh, underneath the, the surface. So I'll be leaving, uh, of course, a uh, link in the, the description to the, the next episode of the, the Stampy Flat Challenge uh, once I've uploaded it. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!